Miss Jamie. First, I want to dedicate this video to all my diehard true sports moms. Nobody knows what we go through unless you are a true diehard sports mom. Anyways, having boys, we go from one sport to another, to another, to another, to another. And over the years, I've learned to be um, prepared. Um, it makes the day go a little bit easier. It makes things just a little bit more comfortable, especially um, being out on a baseball field, a football field, a basketball court, so on and so on all day. There are just some necessities that I have to make, have to have just to make my experience a little bit better and be the best mom that I can be, of course. But first of all, um, I want to say I love being my kid's number one supporter, fan, sponsor, and so on and so on. I wouldn't have it any other way. But I thought today that I would just show you um, my sports bag. Basically, right now we're playing baseball, so let's whoop it up for my baseball team. Hey, hey, hey. But I want to show you what I have to have just to make the day or the games go a little bit easier for mom and to make the experience a little bit better for my son. Of course, my bag is going to change with baseball, basketball, um, whatever we're doing football at the time. But right now we're doing baseball. So I want to show you what our bag looks for for baseball. Um, this is the bag that I usually keep. Um, of course, you know it's going to be Chevron. Um, I bought this at Walmart. I think I paid like $10 for it. Not much. Very sturdy. Double handles. They lengthen. They shorten. Um, it fits perfectly in my trunk. Um, and it's not, you know, I just scoot it next to me when I'm sitting in my chair. But these are some of the necessities that I have to have. So let's get into my sports bag. First of all, bug spray. Right now the mosquitoes are out. We will pass this on and go through a lot of these as the season goes on. So I always make sure to have bug spray. Um, a sunblock for those nice Saturday games at noon. Um, being biracial, I burn with the best of them. So I always make sure I have sunblock. Um, we have wipes. Um, my little one will be quick to get ice cream, snow cones, whatever. Can make him the messy. So I always like to keep a good old thing of baby wipes. I always have tissues in there for runny noses, whatever we need them for. You know, crying tears. We always have those. I do have some wipes. And a majority of the stuff just comes from the Dollar Tree. I don't splurge these are majority of Dollar Tree things um, these are some wipes normally it's not uncommon not normally but not uncommon for us to play like one game at noon in the beating sun and then turn around and have to play another game so it's just kind of nice to have something and baseball field bathrooms suck they are gross and nasty but it's kind of nice to be able just to like freshen up wipe your face off you know your arms or whatever you're feeling get that griminess off so I keep some of that and I always keep a spare um, of sunglasses just because we'll leave early in the morning the sun's not out and then I'll forget my sunglasses and it makes a game miserable you can't see you don't have sunglasses so I do like to keep a spare of sunglasses in my bag so that's all for what's in the side um, this is what's inside I always take a blanket with me um, just because here in Tennessee, we have what we call bipolar weather, cold one day, hot the next. Um, it's nice to have to cover up or to use as some cushion when I'm sitting on the bleachers. So I always make sure that I have a nice, good, thick blanket. Um, an umbrella for those rainy games. Also, when that sun is beating down on me, it's kind of nice to have an umbrella. Believe me, it comes in handy. Then, I always keep a backup of Gatorade. Um, we try to keep a cooler with us, but there are sometimes we run out. So, I try to keep a backup Gatorade in there for whoever's playing the sport at that time um, so they can stay hydrated. I do keep snacks in my bag just because the concession stand can get very, very, very expensive. Um, when you have a little one that likes to run back and forth, and you know, of course, your kids get hungry every time you leave the food, uh, leave the house. 
um, if someone's still selling food, they're the first ones in the line. So I try to keep snacks and things I know they're interested in so they're not like bleeding me dry at the concession stand. Um, I do keep a book, something that I would normally not read because there is a lot of downtime. Um, something that I normally don't read. That sounded so dumb. Something normally I wouldn't get a chance to read. So I like to keep something in there just to keep me occupied so I don't get, you know, antsy and to pass the time. So whatever I, I think that I might be interested in reading, I make sure to throw something like that in there. I also keep trash bags. Um, because <laughs> the boys get nasty, they get muddy. I use them to line the seat of my car with so that it's not dirty or gross. Um, or if we need to bag up some nasty cleats, they come in really, really handy. So I do keep trash bags in there. I highly suggest any baseball moms invest in these. What they are, and I hope you can see them, they have like little Velcros. Um, these are Nike, but it's probably just because it's the only ones I can find. But what you do is you roll up your sleeves and you take these and you slip them through and then they Velcro shut. And so they keep you um, nice and cool. They work. They keep your shirt from like rolling down. And believe me, they will become a necessity once you start using them. So get you a pair of those. I think I picked these up for, at Hibbits for like five bucks. And last but not least, band-aids. In my household, band-aids will heal anything. Do you hear me? If you need surgery, put a band-aid on it and life will go great. So I always keep band-aids and I do keep an off like bug bite stick. And then I think I have some uh, antibiotic cream just for like scrapes or bug bites, you know, so we can patch them up until we get home. So guys, that's what's in my sports bag. Tell me what's in yours. Maybe I forgot something or maybe you can give me some other suggestion of something else that I need to keep in here. And if you like what you see, please subscribe so you never miss one of my great videos. Um, until next time, guys. Bye.